What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. This one's a good one. It is the easiest way to meal prep. Now there's many many easy ways and you can go ahead and just buy your meal preps but not all of us are made of hundreds of dollars a week that we can spend on a meal prep, right? So, easiest way to meal prep. Let's go. Before I hop in, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Say hi to Zoro. He is being a good boy today. If there is a specific food that you find easy to meal prep, leave it in the comments down below. Chen Mei, I know you're gonna say quinoa. I have it. You guys saw me, you know, starting to cook the rice and everything. I use a rice cooker, super, super simple. So that's already cooking, right? I got nothing else to do for that until it hops out. And I also have, a, I'm using a pound of ground beef. I'm just making four meals for four lunches for work one day. You know, you multiply these based on your macros and how many meals you want to make. It really doesn't add that much time. So I'm just doing four meals to cut time on the video. And because that's all I really need. So with that, with the rice and with the ground beef, the easiest thing to do if you're tracking macros is to measure before everything every single nutrition facts label is done in that state so the round the raw ground beef that i'm using the nutrition facts are in that state it's not when it's cooked so i know that i have one pound of ground beef i don't know how many grams that is but i know if i take the cooked grams and divide it by four that is four servings because they are four ounce servings that simple right so once i have the stove hot right i'm not wasting any time this is the easiest the fastest way to meal prep i've got the stove heating up i've got the rice cooking what's next man get your seasonings out get your meal prep stuff out it's super, super simple. So for this, right, found it. Took forever. The roasted garlic and herb seasoning from Grill Mates. It's amazing. Bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna grab these bad boys out here. That's looking like four. We're in business. So from here, it's just a waiting game. You know, we gotta get that meat cooked, season it. I actually, once it's pretty cooked, I like to add the seasoning and put water in it. Keeps it a little moist for a little longer and kind of gets the seasoning going. So. So while we're sizzling, let's sit down with Zorro and tell you a few little facts. Oh, oh, he likes my microphone. Ah. He doesn't get to touch lenses anymore, if you remember. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go a few videos back. Anywho, uh, do you like spending time with dogs? Do you want to spend more time with your dog and less time cooking? We'll spend an hour meal prepping. And you'll get to spend more time with your doggy every day instead of coming home and cooking dinner, right? That's just one of many reasons to meal prep, one of many reasons to easy meal prep. They don't have to be hard. They don't have to be these huge, intricate meals every day. That's what people with money lead you to believe, that these have to be hard things to do. Well, I'm currently meal prepping right now. The food's cooking, right? The meat's cooking, the rice is cooking, and what am I doing? I'm relaxing with Zoro. Life is awesome. Tracking your macros, meal prepping, those go hand in hand, but they don't, you know, you, they're not like together. You can meal prep so you have good, healthy meals that are easy in the fridge. They're as easy as going into that freezer and pulling out a dang hot pocket. So, you know, take Zoro's advice and meal prep. The meat's getting real well cooked, right? It's getting cooked well, so we're gonna throw some of that uh, that good tasting stuff on there, right? I like to put it on pretty thick. I know it's nice and salty, but uh, if you didn't know, salt helps you get a pump in the gym. And I normally work out after I eat this meal. So I want that pump in the gym, right? I don't know if you've cooked something and had leftovers and left it for four days. It gets dry, right? 
So let's fix that issue right now. All right, let's just pour some water in it. It makes it get really savory, right? And then we're gonna let that simmer. So that's what actually takes a little longer than in the quickest, easiest way to meal prep. We would skip that step, right? But I was stuck on the cabin. But with this, it's actually a lot better tasting. And who doesn't want the best tasting, quickest, easiest meal prep, am I right? So that is not sizzling. We're gonna let that simmer. And you're really just gonna let that simmer until all the water simmers out, all the meat will be cooked. And it's Anywho, so as I've already said, the rice is done cooking. That will probably be the first thing I throw into our meal prep containers. But our next super easy step that could have been done five minutes ago, but I was playing with Zorro, is in the fridge. I don't have any more. It was supposed to be frozen broccoli, but I think maybe I'm all out of frozen broccoli. That's embarrassing. Well, this is gonna add a little bit of time, but normally those frozen broccoli minute things that you can easily just throw in the microwave for five minutes would be normally what I would use. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, some stuff about nutrients and vitamin D, uh, shut up. I like to season the rice with uh, chicken bouillon, sometimes the sodium free chicken bouillon. Yep, shout out mom. Um, it's pretty good. It's like uh, the seasoning that goes in like ramen noodles and stuff. So uh, gets my ramen fix in with my brown rice. Uh, once again, this is super simple. I'll throw back to uh, when I measured it and did everything. I know that what's in this container right here is four servings. So I'm gonna take it and put it on the, uh, this thing, the, the scale. And I just gonna divide that number by four, super simple. So all my rice in total is 558 grams. Rice is normally pretty simple to measure like this. Uh, the pre-measurement, if you're tracking your macros, is really important. So now you know, uh, you know the grams of carbs and the little bit of fat that's in this. So I just finished doing all the rice, right? And you hear that? All that sizzling means the ground beef is done. I'm recording it now so I don't forget. Amanda's sitting over there. Zorro's now sitting over there in the living room. She probably doesn't want to be on camera because she just showered, but she wants to remind you to not forget to register to vote. Good citizen, Amanda. So same thing goes with the ground beef, as I was already saying, right? That stuff is done. Whoop. We're putting the ground beef onto the um, scale. I can't never remember that name. I dropped some ground beef, so Zoro's gonna get some. But I cannot just divide that number by four because all the extra oil and water that I added to this, you know, it's not all gonna come out, right? I'm actually gonna use some of it for the spinach, so I gotta, you know, kind of account for that. All right, the cool thing about actually doing the spinach instead is we can season it while it's cooking. Let me get it, hold on. Oh, all that spinach. That spinach is gonna go down to like literally two bites of food, right? Once again with this, we have to wait a little while for it to 
you know, thaw out and cook in order to put some seasoning on that. I'm gonna throw some garlic, salt, and onion powder on that, or onion flakes. I like the flavor of the flakes better. So I've got 410, what? 410 grams of ground beef, right? So I'm not gonna do 100 or 102 grams. I'm probably gonna do 95 grams and just sprinkle a little extra if I need. So that's kind of the plan, 90, 90 to 95 grams of ground beef per. Um, once again, this is already four servings measured. All right, so the fourth one has 120. All the others have 90, so I was about 30 off in there. Seems like I got all the oil done, so, you know. But, we still got a big brick. The spinach, the... The broccoli would have been way easier. This is, let's, let's season this stuff. So as the spinach finishes seasoning, like, uh, you know, cooking all the seasonings in. One, here's Zorro again. He's being a good mascot of today's video. He's really letting me record without bothering us too much. So good boy, Zorro. You're going to get a treat. And I want you guys to see the time right here. It's 9.52 p.m. I started shooting this video. It was like 9.20. So this whole ordeal only took me 30 minutes. And if I wasn't shooting this video for you guys, it would have been even less. So that is just 30 minutes um, instead of an hour and a half for four straight nights that I am not hanging out. With your bro. Yeah, he is going to eat the microphone. Oh! He bit the microphone. The uh, spinach here is done. Give it one more last little uh, twirly twirl. And let's plate this up, clean up, and get ready for tomorrow. But don't get me wrong, it's probably not the best way to do things, but I just don't measure the vegetable. Sure, there's some carbs, but spinach is not a lot. You can look at the nutrition facts. It's not a lot. All right, when you are done, make sure all of these meal preps make it into the fridge. Make sure the full sink of dishes is clean. Why? Because your roommate, your significant other, your mother or your father, whoever you live with, will hate you if you leave it all because you had a quick and easy meal prep and wanted to move on with life. With that, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot on the quickest, easiest, maybe the tastiest meal prep. I got this done in under an hour. Got to play with Zoro for 15 minutes of that hour. It was super easy. It was super fun. Let me know if you guys have any questions on meal prepping, measuring food. This was literally the easiest way to do it. I had a lot of fun shooting this. I'm going to enjoy my meal prep tomorrow instead of eating the chicken wings that I ate today because uh, I got to get those washboard abs and those veins in my arms just like you do or whatever your goals are. So with that, are out. Say good night to the camera, buddy. Good night. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. You ready? Zoro. Up. Up. Good boy. That's it. Goodbye.